Well, who do we have here? Hey, good morning. <laughs> well, pipsqueak, it's at that time. Oh, we got one lambin way over there. Good morning. I am out really early today. I woke up, I think, at 3.30. I have a meeting, so I thought I better get up early this morning just to get everything ready for Luke. It's quiet. I just have the one lambing at the back, so I'm gonna run over there and just make sure she's okay. And then I'm gonna go through and make sure all the babies look like they're well fed. And then I wanna mark down, write a big text to Luke as to all the things he has to look for. That's part of the battle is, is communicating what I kind of have up here for him to know what to do when he gets here so oh my little minis are still oh one is alive I don't think the other little one is alive it would not drink last night so I'm not surprised other than that everybody looks happy this is the first day there's no frozen lines all week this week it's been about minus 8 minus 7.8 or so when I come in and today we're only, we're seven degrees warmer. I think today's gonna be a better day. Good morning. Where's your other baby? Oh no, you gotta be kidding. No, seriously? Oh my God. It only had that much water in the bottom. Oh my God. Well, thank goodness you're too big for a pail. Good mommy. How are you two doing? Hi, good morning. Oh, she might be going too. Just nicely getting back from my board meeting. But I stopped on my way home. I let Luke go home around four today because I knew my meeting would be done around 3.30. Takes about an hour and a half to get home. But I had to stop at Staples and get Jess some cue cards for school. And I checked my camera. Those cameras are a blessing and a curse. There's a little lamb running around, so I'm like, ah. Oh. Turns out, this mum, this is the little one running around. She had two stuck coming out at the exact same time. So they are down, way down there. Right there. Nice, beautiful, big lambs. The one that actually lived is the tiny little baby. However, 
silver lining, kind of. She only has one working teeth. So the math actually worked, but not in my favor, of course. These ones popped out right when I got here. So that was good. Luke did awesome today, and honestly, he had a set of triplets, but other than that, I don't think anything lambed for him. I don't know what's going on if they're just in a little reprieve right now. Now I'm gonna go around and make sure everybody's drank today. It's amazing how quick these pens fill up. As the lambs grow, they grow so fast. I just bedded these guys this morning and it's already wet. Now the temperature has gone from, I bet you today it reached, it was probably like plus five or six, and now it's back down under freezing again. So this temperature fluctuation is never good. So I'm gonna have to put more straw down here. So of all the lambs I've trained so far, there's only one, yeah you, that I'm never quite sure is drinking enough. Really, really thin through here, sunk in kind of. I get him on the nipple, but he plays with it. He doesn't really get on it great. So Luke's been with, working with him today. I wanna see it actually drink. Yeah, look at that one. See? Knows what's there, and just, nope, not gonna do it. So I might regret this. I might just turn the lights out early tonight. I usually don't turn out the lights till 10, and it's been working, and I haven't had a lot of lambs first thing in the morning when I get here, but I've been up since 3.30, and I am really tired. Today was a long day. I find board meetings really, really challenging in the fact that um, I'm used to moving around and being busy, so, and not, using my brain quite as much. I'm really tired, and I think it's probably best for all of us if I go to bed in decent time tonight. Well, I was gonna call it an early night, but my gut told me, no, better stay on schedule. Keep the lights on till 10. And sure enough, I had a U that had a little bit of, God, she got a huge water bag, look at that. I was just gonna put her in this area for the night, just in this little runway, and let her have just an area where she can walk and lamb. But for whatever reason, I'm like, you know what? Before I go to the house, I wanna do an internal on her just to make sure the lamb isn't close. Sure enough, there was a head and a tail coming at the same time. So if I didn't do that, and if I had just gone to bed like I was gonna do, they would have not likely made it. So they look good. I'm gonna quick check the other lambs that were born today to make sure they have warm mouths before I go to the house. Then I might just give these two a little bit of colostrum just for my own peace of mind before I go. End it off on a good note, which is good. <laughs> hey mom, do you think you can get up? Sweet pea. Let's see. Hey mom. Kinsey? Here, just do 